Hello everybody, what's up? This is Rich. Uh, this is OpenOffice version 2.4.0. This is the OpenOffice Writer. What I'm going to do here is show you how to do a table of contents. Now a table of contents is very useful if you are writing a book and you want to have something with page numbers in it and a table of contents that automatically follows this uh, page number set. This is actually easy to do if you know where the stuff is and I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to do that. Now what we're going to do here is on the very first page. Now you could make a title page if you want to but we'll skip that. We'll just say you're on the page where you want the table of contents to occur. We click on insert and then indexes and tables and then indexes and tables from the submenu. This will bring up a window which is for table and contents. Oh, excuse me, table of contents. By default it will land on this and what we can do is simply click OK. Now this is the table of contents page. So what I am going to do here is I'm actually going to press Control Enter and go to page 2. And then what I'm going to do is set this to heading 1 style which I did over on the left here. If you have the styles and formatting window you can just double click it. And I will put this is the first chapter and then what I'm also going to do is for the second part of this I'm going to make a heading 2 which is this is the sub chapter highlight that and make that into heading 2 so I have first chapter sub chapter or else we'll make this a little easier we'll say this is chapter 1 this is sub chapter A so what I will do is I'll go back to the table of contents and it's grayed out. I will right click this and left click update index slash table. Now what it's done here, let me just move the styles and formatting out of the way, is that this is chapter one is on page two. This is subchapter A is on page two. And this is correct because the table of contents is on page one. And this is page two. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press control enter again and I'll do another heading one for page three so I'll go ahead and select heading one and say this is chapter two and then what I'll do is make another heading underneath that says this is sub chapter for chapter two highlight that and make that into a heading two I'll go back to the first page I will right click the table of contents and left click update index table and this is what we got chapter this is chapter one is on page two this is sub chap this is the sub chapter a is on page two this is chapter two is on page three this is sub chapter for chapter two is on page three and I can go on down the line now what I do is that in between these headings if I decide to type some text like this is some text I'll put something under sub chapter a this is some text, oops, middle error there. Scroll down here. This is some text. This is some text. Now if I go back up to the top and update, nothing happens. And the reason nothing happened is that this text is not, this is not a uh, header at all. So it's not a, ch a chapter heading. It will not appear in the table of contents. Now if I take one of these and let's just say this is an H2 and I'll highlight this and I'll make this an H3 heading 3 so I have an H1, 2 and a 3 I will right click this, left click update and see this, I have a little indentation, I have H1 is here, H2 is here, H3 is here that follows all what's on page 1, 1, 2 and 3 if it's a header you'll get it in the table of contents, if it's not a header it will not appear in the table of contents uh, you can have heading 1 all the way through heading 2 10. However, you'll probably not need to use more than one through four at the most. That's just a really basic way of how to put a table of contents into the uh, OpenOffice Writer. Now, what you should do is at the bottom is have the page numbers show up.
and uh, that's in the help section so that the page numbers correlate to the page numbers uh, actually printed on the page later or if you decide to export it as a PDF. Uh, this information is very useful for anyone who is writing a book in the Open Office Writer. Uh, I've written several books in this and it works really well and uh, the but the first thing you should familiarize yourself with is the uh, concept of using headings and the table of contents. And now you know how to do it in a very basic way. And that's it. Take it easy.